we're going to go over how to do genital urinary assessment with ultrasound for a male patient. Um, so the genital urinary system consists of both the kidneys, the ureters, and the bladder, as well as the prostate and the genital system. Uh, what we can assess with ultrasound are the bilateral kidneys, and as well as the bladder and the prostate. So here, we're going to have the patient put their arm up here. And you're going to use uh, the, have the patient supine with the legs bent to relax their abdominal muscles. You're going to use a phase array transducer with, on an abdominal setting with the indicator up towards the patient's head for while you're looking for a kidney assessment. The first kidney we're going to assess is the right kidney. So it's going to be the mid-axillary line. Once again, indicator towards the patient's head about the 8th to 10th intercostal space. And here we can see the right kidney, the upper pole of the right kidney. And as I bring my probe down, I can see more of the center of the kidney as well as the inferior pole. And you'll notice that as the patient breathes, that the kidney moves. So sometimes you can't have the patient breathe to optimize your view. That is the right kidney. So now we're going to go over to the left kidney. So once again, the indicator is going to be up towards the patient's head. You're going to be, it's, it's going to be a posterior axillary line or knuckles to the bed. And the kidney is going to be right below the spleen. Here we see the superior pole of the kidney. And I'm going to shift you over here just a little bit. OK. So his kidney is very posterior, so I had to have him move a little bit more off the bed to get the, the, the full kidney. So here you see the left kidney. And once again, take a breath in and out. And you can see that, once again, the kidney moves with that. So the things you want to assess for for kidney is hydronephrosis. That's the main thing you can assess. You can't really see gall, uh, kidney stones, unfortunately, but you can see indirect signs such as hydronephrosis and kidney, si uh, kidney size. Other things you can look for are kidney cysts on these views. The next scan we're going to perform is looking at the bladder. And you want to make sure you have a towel here to make the patient comfortable. And the thing that I see, the pitfall I see most often happen is the, the sonographer does not direct the probe inferiorly enough to see the bladder. So here, you want to make sure you're really close to the pubic bone to scan the bladder. And the indicator is going to be up towards the head of the patient. And this is going to be a sagittal view of the bladder. So here we see in the center of the screen a filled bladder of the patient. You can also go a transverse view to get another image of the bladder. The posterior, directly posterior to the bladder is the prostate. There, and you can also see it in the long axis view or the sagittal view. All right, so free fluid in this image would track just above the bladder and the prostate. So other things you can look for in the pelvic ultrasound view are size of the prostate, looking for prostate enlargement. You can also look for post void residual in patients with urinary retention, as well as looking for bladder volume size before capping a patient.